Now we're going to add the ability to like a given post. So in our profile page, we'll go to our list view. And the way that we're going to be able to like a post is when a user taps on the like button. So when they tap on the like button, the heart icon will fill in, will increment the likes count by one. And if the user presses on it again, we'll return it to this icon of just a heart border. We'll decrement it by one. And it's also going to be possible to like or unlike a given post by double tapping on the post image. And just to review how likes are gonna work, if we head to a given post, we have a likes map. And on our likes map, when a user likes a post, we'll add their user ID to a Boolean value of true. And when they unlike it, we'll set it to false. So now let's head to our post.dart file. And in a couple of places, we were just printing the line liking post. So that was for our post image. And we want to change that to a reference to a new function, which we'll name handle like post. We can make above, as well as our like button. And we'll find that by searching for our icons with a value of favorite border. We also want to, for its on tap for the gesture detector, set that to handle like post. So when a user taps on the like button, we'll execute handle like post. And first we want to check to see if the users already liked it. So on the likes map, we're going to search for the current user ID. So we'll store that within state up at the top of post state. We'll create a final string variable called current user ID. It'll be set equal to current user. So we'll want to import that from our home file. And we can use our null aware operator dot ID. Once that's brought in, we'll head back down We'll head back down to handle like post and we'll take the likes map. We'll look for the key with the value of current user ID. And if that's equal to true, we'll put the return value in a variable of type Boolean, which we'll name is liked. So if a user's previously liked a post, then is liked will resolve to true. So if that's the case, we'll add a conditional. And we want to do a number of things. As I mentioned, we want to take the like count, which we have stored, we have stored as a variable in state, and we want to decrement it by one. We'll also have a variable which we'll create, it'll be a Boolean called is liked, which we won't need to initialize. That will be set is liked will be set to false. And this value is going to control whether the like button is a heart border or a filled in heart. And then we want to take the likes map. We take the current user ID and set its value to false from true. And then we need to update the post in Firestore. So we'll need to get a post by the owner ID get their user post collection. And then to get the individual post document, we'll use the post ID. And then we'll update the data. Or we'll select the likes map and set the key of the current user ID to false from true. So that's going to involve before we set state, taking the posts ref dot document, get the owner ID of that post dot collection reference user posts dot document pass in the post ID and finally use update data to update the likes map so we'll use a string dot likes dot and then interpolate the current user ID and set that to false and then this will be pretty straightforward to do the opposite 
we'll add an else if not is liked if it wasn't previously liked. And we'll take everything that we have here and just basically do the opposite. We'll update data to have the likes with the key of the current user ID, set that to true. We'll increment the like count by one, set is liked to true, and set the likes count or the likes value at the current user ID key to true as well. And now we need to change the appearance of our like button in response to is liked. So we'll find our like button again. And we'll add a ternary here for what icon we use within our gesture detector. So if is liked is true, then we'll use icons.favorite. Otherwise, if it's false, we'll use the favorite border. So now we can save our post. But we're going to get an error telling us Boolean expression must not be null. So to fix this, we can head down to the very bottom to our build function. And before the return, we can set is liked by taking, once again, the likes map, the current user ID key, and comparing it with true. And that's going to ensure that is liked is not null. So now we'll save. And currently we have zero likes. We see our heart, our like button is just a border. So I'm going to, in the background, show the post that we're updating, show the post document. So when we like this post, we see immediately our likes map is updated with our current user ID, set that to true. If we navigate away and navigate back, we see it's still filled in and we still have one like. And if we unlike it, we now set the ID key to false. And once again, that values persisted.